I'm so happy. And uh, uh, another one is my title is Decompressed Chronic to me, and the review of literature is uh, the most concept or content uh, be only uh, speaker, uh, Tariq. Uh, uh, yeah, he already told my content, so I have no idea. But uh, I'm just focused about my title is to focus to neuro, young neurosurgeon and the resident doctor, because my resident doctor were sometimes low or developing countries. The most of resident doctor want to be uh, details of chronic, uh, uh, decompressed craniectomy. So. Uh, is repeated content, uh, no angry, and uh, uh, here to uh, easily. Okay, let's go. This article is I always uh, in my original article in Korean Journal of Neurotrauma, as I live with uh, some kind of uh, literature. Uh, as earlier I mentioned, that they focus to young and resident neurosurgeons who started to decompress craniectomy. They, that, Next content is the same, historical living methodology complication, recent cranial trials, and my conclusion. Uh, it, the TBI is the major uh, worldwide health program and 10 million patient to, to hospitalization or death. Uh, in patient severe TBI, the auto regulation does not work to, and to make uh, increase the ICP and to compromise the CPP and the lead to uh, finally, patient to de neurologic deterioration and the fatal herniation. DC has been used to control ICP, such as uh, intracranial neoplasm, ischemic disease, and the, the edema. Uh, but this is uh, reduced ICP by ebacute hematoma, but the recent cranial trial is, did not significantly improve the clinical outcomes despite of its effective reduction of ICP. Okay. As you know, that, that in this 4,000 of ancient Inca, uh, Inca neurosurgeon Saka is uh, trapping the skull for therapeutic or superstitious lesions. In the 6th century, Galen uh, introduced the anatomic and the better plans to evolve the procedure for describing indications for traumatic brain lesions, including hematoma and fracture. 1894, NMDL first described uh, DC as a procedure for palate lesions. In 1901, Kako, this for IICP due to TBI. In 1619s, this was not welcomed, but uh, another uh, literature shows the good result. In 1971, Nenshop Benjamin, and 1975, Benes Collins, and uh, 1908, Garin Taban, and it shows the good result. In 1990s, a uh, gap, the uh, first prospective study for 37 patients younger than 40 years old. And the day, uh, the treatment outcome was most affected by initial GCS. But the uh, uh, first RCT designed by uh, Cooper, they showed no favorable outcome. Uh, that the, importantly, the complex nature of TBI was recognized more than just the surgical aspect of management. Yeah. Main role of this is a reduction of ICP and the prevention of herniation. The chronic size must be extensive because the uh, surgical benefit depends on the surgical technique and the degree of achieved the decompression. So the, we used the two main techniques, unilateral and the bifrontal decompressed craniectomy. You can see the two kind of uh, craniectomy and uh, uh, in unilateral frontal temporal palatal craniectomy is just indicate to the unilateral localized region, including traumatic hematoma or MCA impaction, is a good indication to unilateral de decompressed craniectomy. Uh, we can make a large reverse question mark shape incision is made from the uh, midline until to the coronal suture, posterior several centimeters behind the ear and to the loop of the jaiguma. To preserve the superior sagittal sinus, you have to laterally move to about two centimeter with right. And uh, we, if we preserve the superficial temporal artery, we have to know that uh, the exact anatomy is uh, approximately one centimeter anterior to the trials. The bone flap should be more than 
15 centimeter in AP diameter. Uh, if the, after then, I always uh, 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 stress to the technique is uh, should be extended down toward the temporal floor and the, provide the adequate decompression. And uh, sometimes I uh, elevated the uh, temporal base to see the uh, system and uh, drain out the CSF. It makes a uh, uh, uncal decompression. And uh, the craniectomy is a small or inadequate size that makes uh, uh, the further damage because uh, uh, compression of the brain cortex and the cortical vein may enhance the brain hernation. It's a uh, unilateral decompression craniectomy. We have a, uh, the whole site is dependent on the surgeon's preference, but uh, typically four holes made to uh, looks like A, B, C, D area. And uh, the another one is by frontal craniectomy. The yeah, frontal contusion over uh, without localized generalized cerebral edema is the good indications. Indications begin anterior to the tragus on each side of, and the curve cranially two to three centimeters posterior to the coronal suture. Uh, we have to preserve the supraorbital lobe because it makes uh, supraorbital neuralgia. Uh, uh, if the supraorbital lodge is closed, only small osteotome can be made to open it. And uh, uh, superior cetal sinus can be dissected away from the bone plate by passing pen field, and the bleeding from superior cetal sinus can be controlled by hemostatic agent, including gel from a surgical cell. The most important key point zero term is uh, uh, Fox dissection and uh, dividing into the portion of superior cetal sinus and the underlying Fox division is to make uh, uh, anterior part of the superior cetal sinus ligation of the most anterior part and the two heavy suture and the cut uh, necessary. You can see the two ball just behind the coronal suture one centimeter apart from the drawing and uh, it, it it makes the bridge of the superior cetal sinus and the bosculs are uh, uh, behind the gigantic arch of the frontal bone. And uh, there are 50% of chance to complications uh, according to the Jiang. The one of the risk factors for complications is uh, age and initial low GCS. And the risk factors for infection rate is uh, related to invasion of optal loop during DC. Proximity to facial sinus and the large country of normality with the corresponding large dead space. The another potential complications is a CS absorption disorder, postoperative hematoma expansion, syndrome of the trephine, and the surgical side infection. The expansion of hematoma is the most common in the fetal, and uh, uh, TBI is a dynamic process, and the new region or existing hematomas can expand after surgery, especially the patient is a BI or uh, fractal dysfunction after severe bleeding. Uh, uh, decompressions may eliminate the tamponade effect. It makes the worse the patient. The another one is contralateral hematoma of the DC is up to 7.4%. So postoperative casking is mandatory. Uh, CS related complications, uh, subdrahygroma is a common but uh, almost uncommon symptom. If aggravating high groma with symptomatic at that time, we consider the surgical treatment. Uh, two to 30% patient uh, experienced hydrocephalus. It makes due to alteration in the circulation of the CS and the usually improved if not, the shunt needed. CS leakage, we have to watertight suture needed. Uh, the another one is when the problem about 10%, we have to preserve the damage uh, preserve the superficial temporal artery and the uh, uh, bone plate. We make the base bone plate is wider than the top. It makes to good uh, circulation. And the syndrome of trepind, the, the post-operative decompression, uh, post-decompression the patient uh, complain the headache, dizziness, sometimes psychiatric symptoms, especially related to the large cranial defect. The mechanism is not clear, but is uh, associated with a CS flow abnormality, direct atmospheric pressure on the brain and the disturbance in the CBF. So sometimes early cranioplasty before the skin flap sink can reduce the syndrome, but it may increase the risk of infection. The recent clinical trial already we know that the DECRA, LISCRA, SP, and SDG. DECRA 
is uh, early surgery. It shows no mortality decrease and the increased unfavorable outcome. Risk of ISP is the last tier of decompression shows decreased mortality, but failed to show favorable outcome increase. Stitchy shows uh, absolute be benefit of about 10%. So secondary DC would be performed selectively as last tier for uncontrollable ICP patient with a CBI TBI, and, this, and they should be informed that the not enough result for life saving to the patient or their family while their life, there's hope. So ISP might not be a sole treatment target. Everybody um, agree with this uh, concept. To increase the favorable outcome at the surrogate should be considered and the additional study increased evidence should be followed. But you know, the benefit of parachute use is purely observational study. Absence of evidence is not equal evidence of absence. So uh, in Asian Australian neurosurgeon, is a 60% of world neurosurgeons in the Asian Australian and the caring for 60% of the world's population. The most of the compression is carried out the uh, uh, most neurosurgeons in Asia Oceania. So last year I con uh, contact the CER is a comparative effectiveness research. Uh, is a compared the effectiveness of various strategies in the world, real world. Side so care for adult children in their own way. The variability is measured and corrected for statistically. Increase the sample size allows for sufficient statistical power. CR tells how different research designs might be used to identify which treatment work best for whom and under what circumstance. Is a subject to many of the same vulnerability as traditional research because it is accomplished using RCT and observational study. So a transition to a new focus on CER must be accompanied by consistent advanced evidence-based protocol. So it's my uh, conclusion. Decompressed chronic to me, still foster treatment modality despite of RCT. ISP doesn't mean prognosis. New trials will be designed by new concepts such as CER. This, this is still agreed by almost neurosurgeons to good treatment. Thank you.